Hey guys, welcome to Edusception. You may be wondering this is a new voice. And yes, it is. Today we have with us ICIC commercial application question paper. And I will solve it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to Edusception. So let's start with section A, 40 marks. Attempt all questions from this section. Question number one, state one difference between each of the following. Number A, consumer goods and producer goods. So here we are with difference between consumer goods and producer goods. Consumer goods are the products that are purchased for consumption by the average consumer. These are also called final goods. Then producer goods. Producer goods. These are the goods which are used as input in the production of other goods including final goods. Consumer goods are purchased by the consumer to satisfy his basic needs or desires. Whereas the producer goods are the goods which are purchased by the producer to convert it into the final goods so he can maximize his profit or earn revenue. Number B. Orientation training and refresher training. Orientation training refers to the training given to the new employees to familiarize them with the policies, rules and regulation of the firm. Refresher training is designed to teach employees latest development in work methods and procedures. Orientation training is given to employees who are recruited recruit hote hain. firms ke rules and regulation ko batane ke liye new employees ko ye orientation training diya jata hai aur wahi pe refresher training purane employees ko diya jata hai naye technology ya work ke bare mein next question number c transfer and promotion a transfer is the change of work group or workplace of an employee it may be equal or better than previous job promotion Promotion is the advancement of an employee from one position to another with an increase in duties and responsibilities. Transfer generally means the redirectment of the employees from one place to another. In this, there can be a change in his duty and responsibility. Whereas promotion refers to the advance, advancement of the employees from one position to the another position in the firm. In this case, the duties and the responsibilities of the employees increases. So now we move to the next question number D historical cost and predetermined cost historical cost and original cost are those costs which are ascertained after being incurred whereas predetermined cost are those costs which are estimated or budgeted historical cost are basically those costs which are the firm pay in the past but are still continuing in the present whereas predetermined cost are those costs which will be incurred in the near future. The next question number E advertising and publicity advertising is a way by which companies invest money or space to promote their products or services is may basically company apna paisa dal ke apne product ya service ko prachar karti hai matla advertisement you basically see in the TVs or YouTube channels they give the advertisement of their products so that is the advertising Whereas publicity means any commercial significant news which has no sponsor is non-personal and is not paid for by the individual or organization involved in it. This is automatic. This firm does not give time or time. This is just by customer to customer. Like you have a product, you tell your product to your friends. They tell your friends. This is basically publicity. Basically. Question number 2a. Mention two features of services. Now the two features of services are intangibility and perishability. Intangibility. Services are intangible as they cannot be seen or touched. They are invisible. You go to a doctor. You have a pain. 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 You have a doctor. You have a pain. So you have a pain. 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 ना ही टच कर सकते हैं बस उसे फील कर सकते हैं और अप्लाई कर सकते हैं अपने लाइफ में और नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज परिशेबिलिटी सर्विस कैन नॉट बी स्टोर फॉर फ्यूचर यूजेस मान लीजिए आपको सर दर्द था अब आपको पेट दर्द है तो आप सर दर्द वाला जो एडवाइस आपको मिला है वो आप पेट दर्द के टाइम पे इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकते आपको फिर से उस डॉक्टर के पास जाना होगा फिर से उसे अपना सिम्टम्स बोलना होगा फिर वो आपको एडवाइस देगा और फिर आपका पैसा लगेगा नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर बी what are indirect expenses give an example indirect expenses are those expenses that are incurred to operate a business as a whole but cannot be directly associated with the costing object like product or service uh, ye sare basically office ke kharche hote hain jaise chai pani ye sab 
अगर आपको एग्जाम्पल देना हो कोई बेस्ट तो आप लिख सकते हैं अकाउंटिंग एक्सपेंसेस ऑडिट फीस एंड एक्सेट्रा मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सी मेंशन द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ कॉस्ट प्लस प्राइसिंग लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ कॉस्ट प्लस प्राइसिंग फर्स्ट टू रन अ बिजनेस फॉर अ लॉन्ग टर्म पीरियड द मैन्युफैक्चरर हैज टू अर्न अ सर्टन सम ऑफ प्रॉफिट टू डू दिस द मैन्युफैक्चरर सेल्स द प्रोडक्ट अब द कॉस्ट प्राइस अब हिंदी में मैं समझाता हूँ इसे ये एकदम सिंपल सा सिस्टम है इसमें अपना प्रॉफिट कमाने के लिए मैन्युफैक्चर प्रॉफिट कमाने के लिए अपने प्रोडक्ट को उसके ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट से ज़्यादा के दाम पे बेचता है ताकि वो प्रॉफिट कमाए और अपना बिजनेस स्मूथली रन कर सके ये नॉर्मल सा फंडा है अकाउंट्स में तो नाउ एडवांटेजेस सिंपल दे दिस आर द सिंपल एडवांटेजेस ऑफ कॉस्ट प्लस प्राइसिंग फर्स्ट इट इज़ अ सेफ अप्रोच टू प्राइसिंग एकदम सिंपल प्रोसेस है और इससे नुकसान कुछ होता नहीं है दूसरा इट इंश्योर फुल कवरेज ऑफ कॉस्ट एंड हेल्प इन अचीविंग आर रिजनेबल रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल इम्प्लॉयड आपको एक अच्छा रिटर्न मिलता है जो मैन्युफैक्चरर या फिर प्रोड्यूसर जो अपना फर्म के अंदर जो पैसा लगाता है उसके रिटर्न में जो अच्छा अमाउंट आता है इसीलिए नाउ नंबर डी एक्सप्लेन एनी टू इम्पैक्ट ऑफ एसिड रेन टू इम्पैक्ट ऑफ एसिड रेन आर फर्स्ट प्लांट लाइफ गेट हार्म सेकेंड इट कॉज हार्म टू द बिल्डिंग एंड मोन्यूमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल ताजमहल का पीला पड़ना नाउ वी मूव टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर ई मैंशन एनी टू मेरिट्स ऑफ इंटरनल सोर्स ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट नाउ द टू मेरिट्स ऑफ इंटरनल सोर्स ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट आर इट इज इकोनॉमिकल इंटरनल रिक्रूटमेंट इज इकोनॉमिकल द कॉस्ट इनकर इन एडवर्टाइजिंग एजेंसी एंड स्क्रीनिंग कैंडिडेट इज एवॉइडेड सो नो आउटसाइड रेफरेंस इज रिक्वायर्ड and the second point is experienced staff as the employees are transferred and promoted from one position to the another position as per the vacancy so the employees are well familiar with the organization so they work properly we'll go on to the next question number 3 a distinguish between shutdown cost and sunk cost shutdown cost this type of cost are incurred even if the production has been discontinued temporarily where sunk cost they are the historical cost which have already been incurred agar company chal raha hai par production nahi ho raha tab bhi shutdown cost lagega par sunk cost nahi lagega question number b why is dialogue an important element in public relation let's understand what dialogue means it means a conversation between two person participating equally now the reason for its importance is it reveals the true personality of a person and boosts its confidence Question number C. State any two features of a balance sheet of a company. Let's discuss what balance sheet is all about. A balance sheet is a financial statement of a firm which shows both asset and liability. Now, the features of balance sheet. First, it is not an account but a statement. Number 2, it is prepared on a particular date that is the end of the financial year. Number D. Explain briefly employees relations as the scope of public relations. Communication and relation with a employee is very important for a firm. Employee should be given adequate opportunity to express its view to the management. Therefore, two-way channel of communication between management and worker are required. Now, number E. Explain current asset with an example. These assets are converted into cash within a short period, eventually within a one year. For example, you can take cash in hand, cash at bank, stock in trade. and etc now we move on to the last question number 4 of this section that is justify a reason either for or against each of the following now number a introduction stage in a product life cycle is not very risky okay i am against this statement and my reasons are this stage is very risky as there is a high percentage of failure of a new product now number b accounting should disclose all material information okay i am with this statement because the material information is about the items that are needed to be disclosed to the investor all other items comes under in materials that are not necessary to be disclosed now number c recruitment is a process of elimination okay i am against this statement let me tell you reason why actually it is a positive activity but not an elimination it is a process of searching for an employee and encouraging them to apply for the job number d branded goods are normally sold by inspection 
ओके आई एम अगेंस्ट दिस स्टेटमेंट माय रीजंस आर अ ब्रांड मेंटेन्स क्वालिटी व्हिच नलिफाई द नीड्स ऑफ इंस्पेक्शन एंड सैंपल्स ब्रांडेड गुड्स कैन बी सोल्ड बाय डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड दे फेच गुड प्राइसेस नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 8 ट्रेनिंग रिड्यूसेस एम्प्लॉय एब्सेंटीज्म ओके आई एम विद दिस स्टेटमेंट एज द ट्रेंड एम्प्लॉय विल नो हिज वर्क एंड ही विल बी मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन डूइंग हिज जॉब rather than an untrained employee thank you for watching this video next section is coming soon so stay tuned